Hey everybody, I'm out in the water sailing the Hobie Wave. Made a video about sailing in general, what I do, how I sail the wave, get it out from the dock, into the water, turn it around, and then bring it back. I think this video will be helpful for beginners or anybody trying to learn more about these amazing boats. So let's check it out. Sailing is all about the wind. Now you may be thinking, well, that's really obvious, but what is it about the wind that you really need to know? To me, it's three things. One, what's the direction it's coming from? Two, what's the speed of the wind? And then three, how is it going to change? I always want to know those three things before I go out on any sail. So the direction of the wind is really important because as if you know the direction, you want to imagine a 90 degree line to that wind because that is your crosswind. That is where you're going to get your power. So if I know where the wind's coming from, I know 90 degrees to the wind. That's where I want to be sailing in general. The speed of the wind is super important. You know, too much wind can be scary on a sailboat. It can be dangerous too. Too little wind, you may not make your way back to the dock at all. Uh, I like somewhere between 5 and 10 miles an hour when I'm looking at the, the forecast, how much wind is going to be out there with the sweet spot being right in the middle, about seven or eight miles an hour. Not too fast, but get you going pretty fast out there. Uh, check your phone, check an app, make sure you know the speed of the wind, the direction of the wind. And then the last thing is, how is it going to change? So if it's going to change, get a lot worse, get a lot you know, out of my comfort zone for the speed of the wind. I want to know that. Uh, you know, so if I go out on a sail, I'm not starting out and getting out there and having trouble getting back. The other thing that's critical about sailing is understanding the points of sail. So if I know the direction of the wind, let's say it's coming right down here. If I'm facing directly into the wind, I'm not going to be moving anywhere. That sail is just going to be kind of flying around and your boat is going to be stopped. Now that's good when you want to start. You want to start that way so you're not going all over the place until you're ready to go. And also when you stop, you want to be facing the wind. Or if you're in trouble, I'm, I'm really going too fast. You can always turn the boat into the wind. That's going to stop it pretty much right in its track. So that's directly into the wind. You're not going to go anywhere. If you think about coming around about 45 degrees to 90 degrees on either side of a straight line, 90 degrees to that wind, that's going to be your power zone. So if I'm anywhere in there going against the wind, going with the wind, that's where you get your most power in that crosswind area. And then if you're going straight downwind, going straight with the wind, I always thought this would be where you go the fastest. Well, it's not. Actually, when the boat gets straight downwind and the wind is right behind the sails, you can almost feel it slow down a little bit. It's going to be steady, but it's going to be a little bit slower as you're going straight downwind. So keep the points of sail in mind, that crosswind, 45 to 90 degrees, either side is going to be where you're going to get your power in a sailboat. One last tip if you're a beginner, you're just starting out. Talked about that crosswind, that 90 degree line to the wind. I think one of the easiest ways to learn is just sail that line. Get your boat out on the water, sail it out on that line. Turn it around, come directly back to where you started from. Turn around again, go straight out. Just sail that 90 degree line to the wind. You're always going to have power in there. You don't need to cover the whole lake. It gets you used to the boat. It gets you used to sailing. I felt that this was really helpful for me and I think it might help new sailors as well. All right, the first thing you want to think about when you start out is putting the sailboat into the wind. I'm going to start and stop going into the wind. So if I look at this right now, you can see the water is coming straight back into my dock. So the wind is just right in front of me. So I've got this boat positioned directly into the wind. That's always the way you want to start. Otherwise, you won't be able to pull the sail up. So I'm going to set the sail up here, push it off the dock, kind of turn it a little bit to the left so it picks up a bit of that crosswind and then we'll get sailing. So here we go. So I got my rudders down in the water. You can see they're about halfway. That way I'll be able to steer without having it drag on the bottom. And then my wind is kind of light here. What I'm going to do is just connect up this main sheet to the 
clue of the sail that will attach the tail the boat's going to start moving then so once that happens I'm ready to go so sometimes sometimes things happen pretty fast here the winds a little bit light so I'm going to hook that on there keep this relatively loose here so it's not going too far and then I just need to untie myself from the dock I'm going to pull myself out and then a little bit to the left there so I will catch some of the crosswind, which is what I'm looking for to give me some power on the sail. So let's get this unhooked. So now I'm unhooked. I'm going to clear myself off the dock, which I did right there. Just going to push myself forward and then steer this thing. Just a little bit. My wind is coming right across the front here. I'll make sure that that is connected there. It looks like I picked it up. And that's the way to get started. Now you're just steering. Steering out into the wind. My wind is coming in from the east so the wind is at my back the sail pretty loose once i'm out here these rudders just kind of chunk down and now i got them all the way down into the water and we're out on the sail Now I'm going crosswind, so the wind is basically coming from this side here into the sail. You can see how the sail is filled out there. And I'm going to sit on the opposite side of it while this sails. Okay, so we're out on the water. It's going a little slow. This is probably five, six mile an hour wind right here. So the way to increase the speed or decrease the speed is all of this, you know, this main sheet. So this rope is called the main sheet. I'm going to control the speed by tightening the sail. The tighter the sail, the faster the boat is going to go. The looser the sail, it's going to slow it down. So right now I just feel myself picking up a little bit of wind starting to pick it up. You can see this is maybe about medium and kind a of medium tightness right now. At the bottom here is the block. So if I want to release this, I'm going to go, I want to let it, if I want to let it out, I'm just going to drop this there. That'll let it out and then snap it back in like that. That'll tighten it. So that was just loosening the sail a little bit. It really just takes getting a feel for this, you know, how fast do you want to go. If you get going too fast, you want to snap this thing down and let the sail out. The thing's going to slow down right away. And then pull it back into that block so it's tight. Now I'm going too slow. Just going to pull that thing. Pull it towards me. That's going to tighten up the sail. Again, the angle of it, I'm going to try to stay in the crosswind here. And sometimes when you get a little bit slow, it'll almost lose the wind, like I just did right there. And you just have to kind of wait sometimes for it to pick up. And understanding the direction of the wind is all important, like I was mentioned before. If you're in this crosswind, that's when you're going to get your power. So a lot of times you see, feel the boat sort of just kind of picking it up a little bit and then all of a sudden it'll really catch wind. So I'm going right across it here, maybe 90 degrees, not quite 45. I can see the waves coming in this way. That's basically the direction of the wind. You can also look for flags. Flags on the shore. If you're not sure of the direction of the wind, you can always look for the flags and which way the flag is blowing. This has just started to kick up a little bit here to give me a little bit of speed. So one thing that's good to know about the Hobie Wave is you've got a lot of sort of space on it to 
sit at, I'm sitting here right on the edge. When the thing starts to speed up, it's good to just lean back on these bars here, the keeling bars, get your weight shifted away from the sail because the wind force is going to be pushing that sail out. And the boat is going to tend to, to tip towards the sail. So you want to put your weight on the other side of where that is. That's going to help balance it out. Now, the faster you get going, the more you want to be over here, over away from the sail, because that's the way you're going to balance. The slower it goes, you actually want to creep into the middle. So if I creep into the middle, the boat's even going to tip a little bit there towards the sail. If I go to the back, it's going to level out a bit more. So the balance of where you sit on the boat makes a difference. One nice thing I really love this about the Hobie Wave is this tiller bar here is very steady. And I can take my hand off of that entirely. It's just going to stay in place. A lot of times you get a rudder on a sailboat and it is something you cannot let go of or else you, you totally lose control of the boat. So it makes a nice armrest for your steering arm here, but it's also something you don't have to keep your hands on. You just keep your hands off of it, let it go. It's going to stay, especially if the wind isn't real strong like this, it just sort of stays right where you want it to be. There's two ways you can turn around in a sailboat. You know which direction the wind is coming. You can either turn with the wind, which in my case would be going over to the right, or you can turn into the wind, which is going to be to the left. Now to me, it's always easier and better to turn into the wind if I'm going to turn around. And the reason being is that the boat is going to slow down enough and the, and the sail will sort of fluff until you gets reset. It's kind of a kind of an easier reset to do it that way if you're turning into the wind. But you need enough wind to be able to turn into the wind. So if I was to try to turn into the wind right now with this wind dying like this, I'm not going to go anywhere because I'm barely even moving. So when the wind slows down considerably like it is right now, the only way to turn this boat around is to turn with the wind, which is going to be to the right here. So usually I like to let the sail out a bit and, uh, and have it be a little bit loose. You need, you need some momentum if you're going to turn. You know, I got a little bit going here. This is slow enough that my turn is going to be with the wind. And if you're not sure, you don't want to spin around too fast, then always loosen up your line there. But I think we're pretty good. So when I do this, I'm going to turn to the right, pull the rudder back here, then I'm going to shift my weight over to the other side of the boat as I'm doing that. And it's kind of in a quick motion to get the boat pitched around. So here we go. And what I'm waiting for is the sail to pick up the wind from the other side. Sometimes if the wind is really slow, like it is right now, you got to kind of push on these rudders until that happens. Which is, now I'm switched directions completely. 360 degree turn and I've caught the wind going back the other way. All right, now we're cruising back the other way. Caught the wind pretty nicely here. Again, I'm at a bit of an angle to the crosswind. That's where you want to be. That's your power zone on the water. These, these waves are probably, let's say, five, six miles an hour. So this is, this is sort of towards the lower end of where I like to sail, but it's, it's a comfortable sail and it, it makes for a good day to do some recording. Absolutely love the boat. It's just the wind and the waves. That's it. Quiet. No pollution. Peaceful.
sailing is something you could learn at any age. Um, I, mean, I learned late in life. I've been a boater for a long time. I was never that comfortable sailing. I learned to sail when I was, I don't know, in my early 50s. And uh, it's just such a peaceful thing. It does take a little bit of used to. I mean, this boat is incredible. It's just so much easier to sail than what I've done before. Um, so comfortable. Everybody gets out here. They always love it. Do another turn into the wind. I'm going fast enough. Decent clip, not too fast. Sail's about a medium length out. So here we go. quite get it all the way over. Sometimes I just twist that rudder like that just enough. And you can see when you turn into the wind the sail is just going to sort of slowly fill. Which is a lot more comfortable than turning with the wind. So now we're rolling back the other way. One of the hardest things to learn is to dock the boat with the sailboat. So. I'm going to show you how I do that, but basically we're going to want to come back, turn right into the wind. I'm going to slow it down as much as I can by letting out the main sheet there, letting out the sail uh, to slow myself down, turn myself into the wind, and drop the sail as quickly as possible. All right, now as I approach my dock, that's the four chairs ahead of me here. I'm going to slow it down. I'm already slowing down just naturally, but we can slow this down by just letting out more of the sail, depending on how much wind you've got. The wind is kind of dying here anyway, so I'm just letting this thing out, letting the sail out. I'm, I want to keep moving. I want to move slow, but I want to keep moving. And then as I get closer, I'm just going to turn this quickly right around into the wind drop the sail which means unattaching the clue from the main sheet there almost there i'm going to go one more time and let's lock this up i'm going to unhook that now. so we got the sail unhooked at the back that's going to stop the boat pretty much right where it is now you just have to drop the sail off the mast so remember, when you pull the halyard on there, there's a little clip that's going to be way at the top. That's going to be sticking underneath a latch there. So you want to pull down on the halyard line and then pull it out, and then you can release it. Then the sail will drop all the way down. All right, that's it for the video about the Hobie Wave. You get out on the water on one of these things, it's going to put a smile on your face, that's for sure. Thanks for watching.